Okay, so Icon Swaps, batch two is here. We're gonna go through today, look at them, pick the top 10 that I would choose from Icon Swaps. So, let's get into it. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u7buy.com and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the time today, we are going to be going through icon swaps batch number two. If you didn't know, this is the second batch. If you didn't do the first batch, I'm pretty sure you would have done it unless you're living under a rock. And if you didn't know, also alongside Icon Swaps 2, EA have released Icon Moments in packs. So now if you open packs, you could possibly get an Icon Moments, even though you've probably got like literally no chance. But anyways, that's beside the point of today's video. Today, I am going to be showing you my top 10 that I think the top 10 choices to choose from Icon Swaps 2 are. But before we get to the rest of the video, what I want you guys to do is let me know your top three picks in the comment below. What would you have as your top three? We're going to try and do as many combinations as possible, the best combinations from Icon Swaps, in my opinion. And we'll go through with that today. We've got some new packs in here, which is sick, and also some returning packs from the last one, which is really, really cool. But first things first, let's actually take a look at what you can get from Icon Swaps. So these are what you can get for two tokens. You can get an 81 plus times 25 pack, which is pretty cool. Then we've got for three tokens, an 82 plus times 25. And then for five tokens, an 83 plus times 25. All I'm seeing there is an awesome amount of fodder. That's all I'm going to say. Five tokens, three tokens, two tokens. Going to be one of the best options out there that you can get from Icon Swaps this time. 100%. Getting all three of them, getting the fodder, completing SBCs. It's looking good. Then we have our first Icon moments of Icon Swaps 2. Uh, actually, Icon Swaps this year. And that is Deco coming in at how many tokens was it? I think seven tokens. This card's not too bad, but you know, he's the low end. I mean, you can get him alongside these packs, I guess. And he's not that bad. He doesn't look the worst. Then next up, we have a base icon pack for eight tokens. Then a mid icon pack for nine. Then Ashley Cole Prime, maybe, I believe. I think this might be Prime or mid. It maybe is mid. I might be completely wrong. I actually don't know. Let me double check. Okay, so I've just confirmed that it is his Prime. Okay, that is Ashley Cole Prime. We're good. Then next up, we have a mid or Prime icon for 10 tokens there as well. We have then Mark Overmars Prime. Prime icon moments, the second icon moments for 11 tokens, three star skills, five star weak foot. The skills let him down, in my opinion. Then we also have the Prime icon pack next up for 12 uh, tokens. And we have, I believe, mid Laurent Blanc for 13 tokens. And then we have a 91 plus Prime icon pack for 14 tokens. That is definitely an interesting one. I'm not going to lie. Then onto the final page of the swaps, we have Butroqueno Baby. I'm pretty sure this is base Butroqueno. Yeah, that is base but Trigueno for 15 tokens. Surely that has to be a mistake. I don't know. How is that 15 tokens? I don't know. And then onto the penultimate one, we have a 16 token one for a Prime or Moments icon pack. And then also to end it off, we have Icon Moments Baggio for 17 tokens. As you can see, five star skills, four star weak foot. Not that bad of a looking card. It looks pretty decent. Anyway, so you see the list. Now it's time to get into our top 10 of what I would choose from Icon Top. So let's get into option number 10. Okay, so coming in at option 10 is definitely not one I'd recommend, but I just needed an extra one for 10th. And that is Baggio. I mean, his car's not that bad. It looks pretty sick. I mean, he's five star skills, four star weak foot, but he is 17 tokens. I've just kind of thrown him in there to make a 10 because it's just not many other good options, realistically. So I'd say Baggio, or if not, maybe you go for a Butroguenio at 10, but you can get stuff alongside Butroguenio. So at number 10, I'd say Baggio. Now on to number nine, we've gone for the Prime or Moments Icon Pack. And then alongside that, you can also get, if you get that with all the 16 tokens, um, you can get also the 81 plus times 25 pack. Not bad, considering it's the first pack where you possibly could get a moments pack. I think it's pretty cool and definitely can be in the top 10. All right, so on to option number eight, 91 plus prime icon pack. And then alongside that back at the start, you can get yourself an 82 plus times 25 as well. Obviously, it'd be sick to get a 91 plus prime icon pack because they're pretty much the big boys. You could obviously still get shafted. There are still some bad 91 pluses, but that is definitely a cool option at number eight that you can get on my list. On to number seven, we're going to go for another player one with a combination. Again, most of these are combinations bar Baggio, but we've got Laurent Blanc in here. I mean, Blanc is one of the best defenders on this game. I can tell you that for free. At 13 tokens as well, it's not too bad at all. And then alongside him as well, you can also get the 81 plus times 25 and the 82 plus times 25. I'd recommend obviously always getting these packs first unless you're really desperate for a player like Blanc if you're going to go for this Blanc option. Like I said, Blanc is a very good centre-back. So if you really need that solid centre-back, definitely go for him first. But if not, if you're not that desperate, go for the packs and then get Blanc after, I'd say. But, but that is definitely a good option because like I said, you know you're getting a guaranteed solid player in the likes of Laurent Blanc. So, come 
Coming in at number six, we've got a Prime Icon Pack. And this time, instead of the 82 Plus, which you can get with a Prime Icon Pack, we've got the 83 Plus instead. Like I always say, I think Ford is just a lot more key than maybe getting lucky in an Icon Pack. You could get obviously get lucky, but realistically, you never know. It's down to luck. And obviously, the 83 Plus is down to luck. But you're going to get a lot of good fodder for SPCs that drop on the game. So I really do think the 83 Plus is an incredible pack and would definitely recommend getting it. If you can. All right, so on to the halfway point. We've got the mid icon pack coming in at nine tokens. And then alongside that, you can get yourself the 83 plus times 25 and also the 82 plus times 25. So two incredible fodder packs and also a mid icon, which I think is pretty sick, realistically. I mean, I mean like I said, the players aren't that great in this icon swaps, I'd say. So I think the pack options are definitely the best. You probably see that theme coming through my top 10, but that is definitely a solid option to take. Uh, option number four, you can get an even better option because you can actually go for one more token and get the mid or prime icon pack. So you could get a prime icon and actually get the 83 and the 82 alongside it. So that is definitely the better option to go for if you want to get that extra token. Maybe you can't get that extra token. Maybe it's the champs one that you struggle with. So you have to go for the straight a mid icon pack. But if you can get that extra token and want to get that extra grind, you can get a mid or prime instead. That is why that is option number four. Option number three, I've actually got a player in here because I think this player is very solid. I've used him before on a friend's account when we play co-op and that is Ashley Cole coming in at nine tokens. He can literally be a left back for the rest of the game. However, we do have Furlan Mendy, but obviously Ashley Cole gives you links to any players, which makes it a lot easier to link to the likes of Neymar, etc. So you can actually get an Ashley Cole and once again, back to the good old combination of an 83 plus and the 82 plus times 25 pack. So that is a pretty cool combination. And like I said, you can get a fullback for the rest of the game because he actually is very solid. So we are now onto the penultimate option, option number two that I would say, and that is indeed all of the first page. So obviously the first page consists of Deco. I mean, Deco doesn't actually look that bad. Four star skills. His stats are looking very good. He's obviously more of an attacking like midfielder. You can play him in a 4-1-2 and 2 bracket. I'm playing CDM obviously, but 4-1-2 and 2 is a cam. He doesn't look that bad. And if you don't use him, you can always use him for fodder and SBC. And then obviously the 83 plus times 25, the 82 plus times 25, and also the 81 plus times 25, all of the front page you can get realistically and i think it's a very good option just mainly because of the fodder i just think the fodder could be absolutely great but don't open them one after another after another because you might end up getting a lot of duplicates so be careful when it comes to them packs and then on to the final one probably the best one you can get i'd say maybe not maybe you don't want a base icon by now like i said earlier you might be past the base icon kind of hype but you can still get some good ones in the likes of the dan Quarry, you say EBO, people like that. But it actually is once again the 81 plus times 25, the 82 plus times 25, the 83 plus times 25, and then the base icon pack. Like I said, you can get any base icon. You might get a really bad one. And if you don't want them, you can use them for fodder. And once again, the other three packs on this front page are incredible for fodder for SBCs. And obviously, you can get something sick. You can save it for a promo maybe you're waiting for. Maybe like a shapeshifter, a foot birthday. You might want to save it for that. See if you can get one of them cards. But as we saw in the last icon swaps, these packs are sick. Unless they've somehow nerfed them. That would be very upsetting. But that is definitely my first option that I would go for. And that is probably the one I'm going to do myself. Them three packs and probably the base icon packs. Maybe you don't even bother going for the base icon pack if you don't want to get one but i think that is what i'm personally gonna go for so yes there we go that wraps up my top 10 options from icon swaps batch 2 like i said earlier i want you guys to let me know in the comments your top three or maybe just your first option what are you looking to get from icon swaps like i said i'm probably gonna go for literally the one that i put first place with all the three fodder packs and also then get the base icon pack as well but yeah hopefully this video has helped you out if it has make sure you smash the like button and let me know in the comments below but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.